Hey everyone, Jeff here with Water Jug Fitness, and today I'm going to be going over my ultimate 4,000 calorie clean bulking meal plan prep and pack, which is actually part two of three. So part one was the grocery list, where we bought all the groceries, and then part three is feeding time, which is going to cover uh, eating all these meals, as well as break down all the protein, carbs, and fats for each meal. If you'd like to find links to both of those videos, they can be found in the description. Also, if you'd like a easy to follow printout of all the cooking instructions, you can find a link to that in the description. This video is going to focus on cooking and packaging all of the meals for the week. So let's not waste any time and just get right into it. All right, here's a quick recap of all the groceries purchased for this meal plan. In case you didn't watch part one, again, a link to that video can be found in the description. And here you will see all the cooking utensils used throughout this video. If you want to know where to buy these utensils, there's a link to the Prep and Pack blog post where you can find more information. Alright, we're going to start by washing the potatoes to get any dirt off of them. Then you're going to want to tear five sheets of tinfoil so that you can wrap the potatoes. With a knife or fork, pierce the potato. Uh, in this video I'll be using a knife and depending on how thick the potato is, you might want to pierce it a little deeper just so they all cook evenly. Uh, then you want to wrap the potato in the tinfoil. As such, there you go. Now it's time to preheat the oven to 425. Let's move on to the chicken. Cover your cooking pan or pans in tin foil. Get your chicken ready, in this case, 12 pounds of it. And you'll see there's a strainer in the sink. I'm not just throwing them in the sink. I like to rinse the chicken before I uh, deal with it. Some people say you don't have to rinse it. Others say you need to. It makes me feel better, like I'm getting some of the uh, bacteria off it. So that's the way I do it. Now you're going to want to cut any excess fat from the chicken. To help the meat cook a little bit faster, I always like to cut it in half. Again, that's just my preference. Make sure to spray the pans with coconut oil to ensure your chicken doesn't stick to the pan. Makes for a much easier cleanup. Place the chicken in the cooking pan and move on to the next piece. Here you can see all the chicken cut and ready to be cooked. 425, the oven's ready, so we're gonna put the potatoes in for 45 minutes. It's time to start the broccoli. In a large cooking pot, just open your broccoli packages and place them in the pot.
Then you're going to want to fill the pot with hot or cold water until they are fully submerged. And then cook on medium high heat for 20 minutes. Moving on to the rice, I have my measuring cup here and I'm going to measure out two cups of rice. If you're unsure about uh, the amount of rice to water, inside your rice cooker should be instructions on that. So if you're not making two cups of rice, let's say you're only making one cup and you don't know how much water to add. Again, inside the rice cooker, it will tell you. If you're doing two cups of rice, it's going to be three and a half cups of water. So now it's time to add the water to the rice cooker. Just plug it in. And on this Black & Decker rice cooker, I just push down on the little lever there and it starts to cook. And that's it. It does the rest. One of the last things to start cooking are the eggs. So just start by placing the eggs in a large cooking pot. and fill with hot or cold water, you're gonna wanna make sure that the eggs are completely covered in water with at least one to two inches. If they are not, the eggs are probably not gonna fully cook. And then set it to a medium high heat uh, until it starts boiling. Okay, so the potatoes have been in for 20 minutes and now it's time to put the chicken in with 25 minutes left. Now that the eggs are boiling, and I mean they're really boiling, it's not just you know, one or two bubbles popping up, I'm going to turn the heat down to low and cook for an additional 15 minutes. The chicken and potatoes are now done, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the chicken out. Uh, you also notice that I don't use any seasoning. That's just because I don't know uh, what I might want during the week. Maybe one day I want barbecue sauce. Maybe one day I want just salt and pepper. So I don't uh, season it in a batch. I do that later. The rice is done and it went ahead and turned itself on keep warm. Now I will be draining the broccoli to get out any excess water. And here's a quick shot of that beautiful chicken, looking good. Almost done. Now it's time to start packaging the meals. I'm going to start by uh, weighing 8 ounces of chicken for my post-workout meal. So I have my weight scale there. Then I will add a cup of white rice. In this case, uh, some weeks it's brown rice, it just depends. Then I will add a cup of broccoli, a good heaping cup. Moving on to the second meal I'm going to package, which is going to be eight around uh, 12, is going to be another eight ounces of chicken. A heaping cup of broccoli. a 8 ounce baked potato and I will just smash it up
For some extra calories and fat, I will add a tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil. There you have two meals packaged up and ready to go for the week. Alright, so I'm going to finish packaging up the rest of these meals and then I will be moving on to the eggs. Now on to finishing up the eggs. Start by draining out as much of the hot water as you can. And then fill it uh, with cold water. Add ice cubes and let it chill for about 10 minutes. Once all the ice is melted and the eggs are fully chilled, you can start cracking and peeling. Um, I found a really cool way to do this uh, from, a YouTube, from another YouTube video online and I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But basically you can get a cup and fill it with cold water about halfway up, put the egg in it, shake it for 5 to 10 seconds and the egg peels very easily. So again you can see it here. Give that a shot, it's going to save you, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of cracking your eggs. All the eggs cracked and peeled. Last but not least, the tuna. So start by draining the can of tuna and placing it in your little Tupperware. Then you'll want to add a tablespoon of dill relish. a tablespoon of reduced fat mayo then a tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil mix that all up really good and for the tuna I usually make it the day of or the night before just because I don't like to let tuna sit for more than a few days but again that's completely up to you I just find it's best the day of or the night before and that's it. Meal prep done. Be sure to go watch part three, and that's called feeding time, which will give you a complete breakdown of when to eat these meals. Also, all the protein, carbs, and fats for each meal to get the 4,000 calories a day. And please, if you have any feedback of what you thought about this video, um, maybe how I could speed up my meal prep time, I would love to hear it. So please leave comments. Also. Go follow at Water Jug Fitness on Twitter and Instagram and show us some love. Thanks for watching.